Hi, hello and welcome to Alicia Budget Beauty. I didn't know if I was going to be here today to be quite honest because I'm not, I'm just not feeling YouTube. If I'm honest, you guys, I don't know. It's just not working out that well for me. It doesn't feel like, but I'm not a quitter. So I decided to just buck it up see what's going to happen. Instagram is just firing on all cylinders. I don't know. I just uh, can't seem to get the momentum on YouTube. But if you are here, then you are my real MVP. Thank you so much. If you're back and subscribed and you come all the time, then hey, I'm giving you a medal, okay? Um, and then if you're new, I cover all things uh, budget-friendly beauty and fashion. It doesn't mean that it's all um, cheaper brands. It just means that I try to look for deals whenever I find them. So sometimes I do have some higher end stuff on here. And today I'm excited because I'm going to do a little quick review of this ZC Alice in Wonderland Alice in the Flamingo palette. If you guys don't know about ZC, I just kind of found them not that long ago. I had seen ads for them and was a little bit like, oh, I don't know, that stuff's way too pretty. <laughs> you know, like, I, I don't know the quality. It's really, really pretty stuff. And then one day I started looking into it and I just think that their aesthetic is gorgeous. They are a Chinese uh, beauty brand. It started several years ago, actually, and they do the most beautiful and interesting collaborations um, as far as like their inspirations. And this collab was with the British Museum, which is really, really cool. They also have some Egyptian themed makeup and I'm eyeing some other palettes that I think I want to maybe pick up. So I thought I need to actually review this one see how I like the formula and how it performs before I go and buy any more. So if you've seen, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this beautiful palette in a reel, but here it is. Just absolutely gorgeous, you guys. I mean, the packaging has this moving glitter inside it. I mean, how, how freaking amazing is that, you guys? Um, if I didn't know better, I would swear that this palette was going to be like a $70 palette. I mean, you look at Pat McGrath and, um, and others, um, Natasha and, you know, all others that are really, really high end and they're not this pretty. They're not. <laughs> so the formula though, does it live up to how beautiful the packaging is and the embossing? I mean, absolutely gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is I am going to create a look um, using this and then I'm also going to swatch it and insert that somewhere in the video. And let's see what our overall review is of this ZC palette. <laughs> some thoughts on this palette. So let's get right into it. Okay. I wasn't really sure about these two end colors here. I almost thought that they were supposed to be blushes, which I ended up actually using this one over here, which is a much more like bright, um, warm color, uh, coral color on my cheeks and it's actually perfect as a blush. Like I said, I don't know if it's intended to be that, but it is this really pigmented, pretty matte, um, corally color with some like sparkle in it, but not like chunks of sparkle. So I really think you could use it as a matte eyeshadow or as a blush. I mean, it's like gorgeous as a blush. And then this one is a little bit more cool toned over here, just like a little bit more of a pink instead of a coral. 
And then I decided to go in with this more brown tone here and did that above the brow bone because I have hooded eyes. And then on the lids, I went with the more mauvey pink. And what I've discovered with the mattes, they're great. They're pigmented, they're soft, they're blendable, they're buildable. These up here are toppers. They are not shimmers, they are toppers. Um, which I, I didn't really have many toppers in my collection. I either have shimmer, glitter, or mattes, but I do think that there is a time and place and a need for a topper. And I do think it gives a really pretty effect. It kind of just gives that like subtle sparkly sheen instead of just like a glazed shimmer or like a duochrome effect. So I went in with this one over here and just kind of lightly dusted it across the lid just to give it like a little bit of a sparkle and then i took this white shifty um it has some like blue shift to it it has a little bit of green and pop that in the inner corner and i think it's super 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 pretty and then i took this deeper this one is more of a shimmer a true shimmer over here and it's a really beautiful berry it's not as in the in the pan it looks like a little bit more purple but it's a little bit more like a berry tone and I did that under the eye here and then I also just kind of slightly deepened up the outer eye with it as well to give that a little bit of dimension and my final thoughts on this I also swatched it I already inserted that into the video and I am overall impressed with this palette. I, you know, for it to be as gorgeous of uh, packaging as it is and to be as inexpensive, this is on sale for $30 right now. I think it's originally $32, not a big discount, but still $32 for one of the most original, unique packaging and to have it actually perform, I think is phenomenal. I would compare the quality, at least of this palette, kind of to like a Too Faced, which Too Faced, I think we all know, is, is pretty reliable. Are they the most interesting these days? No. But if they came out with packaging like this and inspo like the British Museum and Egyptian art and this Lewis Carroll vibe, then Too Faced would maybe be a little bit more interesting these days. So... And it's cheaper. It's cheaper than Too Faced. So I'm very, very, very intrigued. I really want to pick up this other palette. It's their Crystal Skull palette. I'll insert a picture right here. It looks beautiful. So right now they're buy one, get one half off. And I think I'm going to get, they have two more of this collection. And there's one that's this blue um, with a little bit of red in it and white and it just it's really cool I don't have anything like it and these are just kind of collector's items in my opinion So I may pick up those two for the buy one get one half off and then there's also a beautiful blush that I'm eyeing and It's only $12. So This brand has my eye. It really really does and I think more people need to check it out especially if you're someone that appreciates beautiful packaging then this might really be for you and you guys comment down below let me know if this brand interests you now if you think you might pick something up or if you've tried it before don't forget to like and subscribe keep me going on youtube make me want to stay here because i don't know i may just do everything over on instagram for now on but if you want to see me here like and subscribe and share tell your friends about it and have fun shopping budget shopping bye